Hi guys and welcome back. Uh, let me preface the video by saying I apologise if I sound bunged up, um, as in previous videos. I'm still trying to get rid of this uh, this little cold. Um, and in today's video, basically, I want to be discussing, uh, you know, patience and, and waiting for setups. Now, I did a video on my channel called um, you know, "Becoming a Forex Specialist," and the, the whole idea behind that video really was just to to illustrate focusing on, you know one or two pairs and just kind of living there, you know, because you, you learn the characteristics of the of the pairs um, that you're looking at, their average daily ranges and, and so on and so forth, right? And this is kind of a follow-on video from that. And the other thing that I decided to do as well is that you'll see we've got the Euro USD up here. That's pretty much what I'm going to be focusing on throughout all my videos. Um, I was kind of having a think and, and, and decided that it's better for me to just focus on, in my videos, one pair you know, and you will be able to see a running progression of how that pair trades, what it's doing, what I think about it, you know, and hopefully we can learn something along the way. So, patience in trading, okay, this is obviously a big, big, you know, a, a big factor in the success of a trader, you know, um, sometimes you, you'll be sitting there and you'll see something and you just want to get in. You have the impulse, it's a desire, it's a need or whatever, you know, to, cut, to get into the market and just put some skin in the game. And it's completely unnecessary. You know, this is something that we as traders need to avoid for all the obvious reasons. You know, jumping in and out of trades is, um, you know, without a, a solid logical plan. You, you need a rule set that keeps you out of the market, not in the market, you know, because... As far as I'm concerned, unless you're a bank and you have very deep pockets, you're not going to be able to stay in the market indefinitely. You know, the banks have to facilitate trades, so obviously they're in and out of the market, you know, on a daily basis. Pretty much, while the market's open, the banks are in there trading. You know, it's just the way it is. But you know, um, we as sort of private traders or you know small-time traders in our homes, just looking to make a little bit of extra money, you know. We we need to wait and be very, very patient and wait for the things that we believe, okay, look, that's my setup, this is what I've been looking for, this is what I've been waiting for, you know, my key level's been hit, I've waited for the reaction, you know, and now I'm getting a, a you know, a move back into, you know, a level where I feel comfortable to, you know, to sort of buy or sell. So what does that look like on a chart? This is the weekly chart, and again, I've left it blank for a reason because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of illustrate once again the context behind the Euro USD weekly, okay, and why I still believe it's bullish. So you know, we had this previous low here and this previous low here, okay, and the market came down or Euro USD, we'll just call it Euro. Euro came down, it uh, basically consolidation, 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 okay, drop. Had a nice push back up. Remember, this was completely green at one point, or up, up candle, and then it reversed. You know, kind of uh, almost breaks down. Call it a breakdown. You know, a bit sloppy, and then we kind of break out of this this range. These these two lows um, immediately. We you know reverse, come down, create a high low, high low, and then we have this beautiful grind up, um, and we break this swing high here, and this swing high here. We move back into these previous highs, back up, break another swing high here, okay, with this candle, back down, back up, breaking this high here, okay, and now we're coming back into this previous swing point, right? So, while the trade at the moment, like not the trade, sorry, but while the pair at the moment, if we drop down to a daily, okay, and these are all the levels that we've just marked off. Um, and they're nothing more than just reference points, okay? They're not special in any way. They're just simple res you know, reference points, okay? Um, as a general idea of what is the story behind the euro going up on the weekly chart. It doesn't matter why, you know. I don't read the news. I'm not interested in any of that stuff. All I, all I know as a, as a technician looking at a chart, these are the key levels that, that stand out to me, okay? And... As it stands right now, <clears throat> when I first started doing the video on the Euro, some of the educational videos and then going into the review videos, um, I mentioned 
that we had, you know, these, sorry, wrong, wrong candle. I mentioned that we had these double, these double tops, okay, or this double top up here. Um, and we were, uh, we were here when I first started talking about it, and then we came down, we had this nice, nice bar down, and I was saying this is just a normal healthy pullback, which I still do believe that. And while we're up here, okay, I didn't believe that the market was going to, you know, that the euro was going to break out. So if I'm looking at this, why would I want to buy here when I can buy lower at a better price? Now think about what I've just said. With everything that we've just outlined on the weekly, I believe that the bullish, I believe that euro is bullish. Okay, so if I believe that euro is bullish and my bias hasn't changed, the only way my bias is going to change right from my bullish stance is if we come down and we break this level here. Let me show you. Just want to thicken it up as well so you can see it. All right? Is if we break, if, is if we break this level here. That's the, that that for me. I know it's, it's it's a fair way away. Oh, sorry, my apologies. It's a fair way away. Okay, so we're talking about sort of four hundred pips. But until it breaks this, you know, this this kilo here. Okay, then I'm I'm going to maintain my bullish stance. And we could even say we need to get we need to get below this first. You know, this this swing point. Okay, stay below it. And then we'll probably challenge this, you know, this this previous low. But so far for me, this is just a healthy pullback, and I'm still bullish based on all all the reasons why we've just discussed. You know, with the the context of, you know, the move down and so on and so on, and the high lows and the grind high and so on. So with that idea in mind, why would I want to be buying up here when a healthy pullback is what's needed? Yeah, we've had a nice steady move down. I believe that the, the market, you know, the euro is, is bullish. It's likely it's going to be pulling back because it's been grinding higher for a while. It's reacted off this previous high, this one, when it bumped up against it. And then we've kind of slowly steadied off, okay? I'm going to wait for a better price. So that's where the patience factor comes in because we're talking about, think about think about this now for a second, okay? This, this bar right here comes up, okay? It doesn't quite touch the previous high. So at that point, you wait, and then the bar, you know, you get you get a, you know a, a, a down candle, then an up candle, then a down candle, Sunday candle, a nice move down, and then today. Okay, so total, that's not including this one because that's the first run up. One, two, three, Sunday weekend, four, five. So you talk about five trading days, yeah, five trading days, and we're still not in Euro USD yet. Okay, we're still not in it yet. And, and I know there's, there's plenty of traders out there that will say, yeah, but there's loads of trades every day and this and that. Fine, you go ahead. You know, I, I'm, I, I don't, I'm not that sort of trader. Me, I, I've learned over the years, you know, through pain and, you know, losing money and so on, to not do that, to be very, very patient and wait for the market to give me the price that I want. I am demanding a lower price before I buy it because I don't want to be up here at a premium. I want to be down here where I can buy at a discount, you know? So... Patience is key, very, very important. You have to condition yourself to, and I'll say, I'll say it a different way. You have to, you have to fight the impulses. Okay, we do this on a daily basis anyway. Sometimes when you, you know, you see a biscuit and you don't really want to eat it, you know. Um, and for those in America, um, you know, if, you, if anybody from America is watching or the US, um, the biscuits that I'm talking about are, you know, the equivalent to your cookies. You know, it's. You, you see one and you you just you want it but then you 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 don't you say you know what i'm 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 not going to give in to my impulse and i'm not going to eat that you know um and you you know you maintain that healthier stance on your on your diet so to speak um or going to the gym you know i'm 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 going to go to the gym you know immediately everything in your body is saying no i don't want to go but you force yourself so you you bury the impulse to not go to the gym and you go because you know it's good for you right so it's the same with trading you have to you have to learn to feel the impulse. Don't try to get rid of it like it's some disease. You know, when the impulse comes for you to jump into a trade, just breathe. Just just look at the charts and say, okay, I really want to get into this trade. I can feel myself wanting to get into this, you know, into this market. Into I just want to put money down now because I want to make money and 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 all the reasons why we want to put money into the marketplace. But in that moment, just remind yourself. Remember. A few pips here and there is not going to make much of a difference to your entry price. It really isn't, okay? People demand too much precision in this industry, you know? You don't need to do that. So look at the chart. 
give yourself a few moments to just look at the chart and say, right, based on what I'm looking at, does it make sense for me to jump into the market right now? Is it following my rules? Have I got the price that I'm looking for? I've marked out my prices already. I know what I'm looking for. Is it there yet? No. Okay. I can't do anything then. I can't do anything. If you, if you, and again, I know people, man, I'm telling you, I used to do this myself. When you're standing in front of the chart and you just, you have to get into the market. You've got to do it. You know, when it's like that, just get up and walk away. And if you can't drop the size, and if you can't do that, then you're in trouble, basically. You're in trouble. Because obviously there's only so much that you can do to stop yourself from getting into a trade. And imagine if you put that much effort into stopping yourself from getting into a trade, then maybe you're not really trading, maybe you're gambling. Okay, so very, very important to outline what you're looking for. Leave it on your chart. Have notes. These are the price levels I'm looking for. This is what I'm, I'm paying attention to. Has price come to my level? No, can't do anything yet. Okay, so going back to our example here of the Euro USD, right now we're having a healthy pullback. Okay, and if we go back to the weekly, I'm just going to zoom in for a second. Okay, this swing point here. Okay, so this candle, this candle, this candle. You know, this, this, this. You see this up move, and then this down move. So this swing point here. I'm going to thicken up this uh, this trend line. And this is going to be my, my reference point, or one of my reference points, right, for potentially entering into a trade. Okay. Okay. So, right now, and let me thicken this one up as well. Okay. So, these are my reference points right now. Um, because we've come up, we've bumped our head against this, this high. We're having a nice, healthy pullback. Remember, it's only Tuesday. Okay, so we've had Monday's trading. This is a weekly candle, so we've had we've had uh, Monday's trading, and now we're into Tuesday Tuesday's trading, and we're coming back up into or coming back down into this previous swing point. Okay, so I'm expecting a level of resistance. I'm expecting a level of, you know, stalling in price. Okay, it may happen, it may not. I don't know, but this is my expectation, and then I wait to see what happens. We will drop back down to a daily, and we can see that this is the the level that we've just sort of thickened up. So this is that swing. Nice move up. Steady, you know, steady pull back down, and we're back into this previous swing point now. Now it's at this point that what I want to see is this. We may we may move a little bit a little bit deeper into this, possibly, you know. But what do I have to work with? If we drop down into an hourly, okay, we can see that this is the the swing point that's marked off. We can see that we've come back into it, okay, and we we've um, we hovered around it a little bit. Come back. Sorry, we we consolidated around that swing point, come into it, and now we're kind of waiting in this area here, which, if you look, is a small consolidation. All right. And if we if we extend that consolidate, sorry, it's not going to work, is it? I'll do it again. Sorry, I've got the thing in the background. If we extend that consolidation outwards, okay. <clears throat> You can see that this is our consolidation all the way across, and we're hovering around that consolidation now. We may come lower, yes, but what I would like to see now at this point, and probably what I'm going to be waiting for, is a oh, zoom in, a move of like a show of strength. Now, this is what I want to see. I want to see a move higher. Okay. Okay, and then maybe something like this. Now, why have I stopped here and not down here? Because we have a, another swing point here. See, we've created this nice sort of curvature swing point, right? And if I just highlight the highest point, this is where I want to see. If we go through this, then we're back above an area that created a down move to start with. So think about that for a second. We're coming down, we're coming down, we're coming down. We had a nice up candle here and then reverses. Okay, a nice couple of candles up, reverse. 
couple of candles, well, quite a few. Grinding, 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 and then we start to move lower. So this is a key area for me, all right? So as the market comes back up now, I don't want to buy down here because, I mean, it's a great price. If I believe that the euro is bullish, it's a great price, but I don't want to buy down here because if I buy down here, it could potentially keep going lower and lower and lower. That's not what I want to do. You know, no, I'll give me an opportunity to take this off, actually. Um, that's not what I want to do. What I want to see now is if it's still bullish, then I have the patience to wait. It's not a problem. What are we talking? Like, realistically, talking like 35 pips, you know? So let's say 50 pips. You say 50 pips is a breakthrough it holds, meaning it breaks this previous swing, right? So from here, 50 pips up. Nice little move back, sort of 10, 20 pips. You get in, you know where your stop is, you know where your entry is, and you know where your targets are, which would be the previous highs, okay? And then I start to scale out at 20 pips anyway. I always take 20 pips regardless. It doesn't matter what I'm trading, doesn't matter when I'm trading, what time of the day, I always take 20 pips first, always. So we wait and we're patient. We're not antsy, we're not freaking out, we're not going crazy, we're just waiting patiently. And remember guys, even with small accounts, you know, a couple of hundred pounds, 500 pounds, a thousand pounds, you know, meaning not tens and tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, you know, these smaller accounts, most people have small accounts, 200 pounds, 300 pounds, you know, they're just trying to find their way in the marketplace. Sometimes they lose, they refund, you know, if you have, you know, a couple of hundred pounds in your trading account, um, or dollars, you know, or euros, and you take a trade, remember, it's Monday now, it, it was Monday, we've had Monday's trading, it's Tuesday now. So let's say we end up taking a trade on Thursday and we make our 20 to 30 pips. For me personally, I'll make my 20 to 30 pips, okay? But those 20 to 30 pips equate to, you know, 20 pounds, say, as a, as a profit. Great, you know? Brilliant, fantastic. Even if it's 10 pounds, great, you know? Now I've got 210 pounds or 220 pounds, you know? And then the following week, you know, maybe you, maybe you catch a couple of runners, you know? Two, 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 two decent trades, 30 pips here, 40 pips there, or 20 pips or whatever, you know, and your 210 or 220 is now up to 250, say, you know, you're slowly increasing your equity. People have this idea that, okay, well, if I can sit down and then I can trade and I can open multiple trades over and over and over and over and over and over again all day long, then that 200 pound can become 20,000 pound, you know, in, in a week. It's, honestly, that's never going to happen. And if anybody pulls it off, good luck to you. You know, I'm happy for you. I really am happy for you. Um, but I'm not. I, I'm happy for you for making the money. But then I, I you know, the, the sadness kicks in because I know you're going to end up losing it. You know, um, you don't need to do all of that stuff. You know, and I know there's people that are going to be listening to this video. Will just be thinking, first of all, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> you know, um, and secondly, you know, yeah, that's fine. You know, I, I, I trade, I make money. Great, fine, whatever. This, this not, you know, for me, this, this, these videos are nothing more than just. You know, uh, me talking about the things that mattered to me while I was, you know, learning to trade and still learning to trade because I, you know, you never know everything. I love learning um, and it's a passion of mine. And they end up in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a situation where, sorry, no, going back to the video, you know, I, I just want people to watch this video and if it gets across to, some beginning traders, or even a couple of nuggets of information that prevent them from taking, even if it's just one trade, one dumb, stupid trade, you know, then brilliant, you know, fantastic, man, fantastic, because then that's one dumb, stupid trade that they wouldn't have lost money on, you know, and that's how it is, it's small pieces, you know, baby steps, baby steps, all right, guys, so that's my rant for today, you know, um, I apologize if I, I was a little bit all over the place, as I've said many, many times, these videos aren't scripted, you know, it's just me having a bit of a natter. Um, so, you know, I wish you all the best. I hope you learned something in this video. And obviously, we will continue to, to update you on the euro uh, as we go. And I wish you all the best and good luck. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.